mtambo na karibu welcome again to Swahili Kingdom in this community we help each other to improve and better our Swahili because we believe that experts were once beginners and you too are on your way to becoming an expert and speak Swahili like no one's business so remember to subscribe to be part of this vibrant and growing Swahili community and I hope that you are ready to learn today's topic which you have seen on the thumbnail which says 12 plus ways of saying goodbye in Swahili other than saying kwaheri. How can you say goodbye in Swahili? In the middle of the video, I'm going to give you a pillar that can help you in learning Swahili. What can help you to improve your Swahili? What can help you to better your Swahili? Apart from this Swahili Kingdom channel, what can help you? I'm going to share with you that one in the middle of this video. At the end of this video, of course, I'm going to have a hadithi. Our hadithi for today is Twiga na Kifaru. Twiga is an elephant. I mean, a rhino is Kifaru. Okay, Twiga na Kifaru. Twiga na Kifaru. And it is going to be in Swahili for you to make your ears get used to the Swahili language. Karibu tena. We are going to start with number one, which is See you, which means tuonane. Tuonane. Okay? Tuonane is quite casual. Um, maybe you are with your friend and you tell them, Juma, asante sana kwa kuongea na mimi leo. Tuonane. Thank you so much for being with me today, Juma. See you. Tuonane. Tuonane is basically kuona. Kuona is to see. But kuonana is to see each other or to meet each other. So tuonane can mean let's meet each other or let's see each other. We'll see each other. And then you have number two. Tuonane badai. Tuonane badai, which means let's see each other later. Badai is later. Tuonane badai. Juma, asante sana kwa kuongea na mimi leo. Tuonane tena badai. You can add kwa heri. Tuonane tena badai. Kwa heri or kwa heri tuonane tena badai. Okay, but tuonane tena badai on its own still qualifies to be a good buy. And then another one is badai. Just saying badai can mean good buy. Asante sana juma kwa kuwa na mileo. Badai kwa heri. Instead of just saying kwa heri, kwa heri, kwa heri, kwa heri all the time, use those three that I have said. I have said tuonane, tuonane badai and badai. Let's go to the fourth one. The fourth one is to taonana badai. This one is used when you are sure you are going to meet with that person later. To taonana badai. Asante sana juma kwa kuongea na mimi leo. To taonana badai. Or with a greeting. To taonana badai. Which means it is formal. Then the other one is to onane kesho. If you have been in a meeting with someone or you have been taking a lesson with someone and you know for sure you are going to meet tomorrow, you say, tuonane kesho, or tuonane kesho. Um, I hear people using, it's from, I think, Arabic, and it, it is used mostly by Muslims here in Kenya, where they say, mashallah, mashallah. Tuonane tina kesho, mashallah. Or tuonane kesho, mashallah. The other person is the one who says mashallah, meaning God willing, God willing. If you want to say God willing in Swahili, you say, mungu wakipenda. When someone tells you, tuonane kesho, you tell them, mungu wakipenda. God willing. Or you can use the word, mashallah. Okay? Mungu wakipenda. Then we have another one. When you don't know the exact day that you're going to meet that other person, you say, tuonane tena siku nyingine. Okay? Two, I'm adding tena. Tena means again. Okay? Or you can say, tuonane siku nyingine. Tuonane siku nyingine. Or, tuonane siku nyingine. Casual. Casual. Then we have another one which is quite advanced. Okay. So, I know in Swahili you can say, mimi ni naenda. I am going. But, you can use that same statement to say goodbye. You can tell someone, mi naenda. Mi naenda. Which means, kwa hezi. Mi naenda. Okay. Or you can say, mi naondoka. Naondoka. I am leaving. Which means, goodbye. So, that is our number seven. Now, I am going to tell you the pillar that can help you in learning Swahili. In life, 
everyone needs someone who is above them to pull them up. Do you agree? In life, everyone needs someone who is above them to pull them up. You are learning Swahili. Who are you looking up to to pull you up? You are learning Swahili. Let's see. Let's say you are here, about here, of course. And there is someone, of course, that you need to look up to. Someone that can pull you up. That person can be in form of a YouTube channel. That person can be in, I mean, that thing, let me remove channel. That thing can be in form of a YouTube channel. It can be in form of a person, a coach, a teacher, a mentor, or someone else who is learning Swahili, but is more advanced than you. That is one of the pillars that I have realized is very, very important. Putting in your life someone who can pull you up in something that you are doing. In Swahili, look for someone who can pull you up in your Swahili. For example, if you have a teacher or a coach or someone who knows Swahili and someone who has maybe taught Swahili to someone, because I was talking to someone and um, I, I told that person, by the way, I do teach Swahili. Of course, he's a Swahili native speaker. And he said, oh, that's good, that's good. And I asked him, why? Because you can teach Swahili as well, you speak Swahili. And he said, no, I can't. And I asked him, why? And he was like, teaching is different from speaking. Like, I can be speaking Swahili, but I cannot teach Swahili. So teaching is different from speaking that language. And if somebody, especially if somebody has gone through that language, they can teach that language. Okay? They can teach that language. So if you have someone that can is helping you on that, that's very good. If you don't have someone who is helping you on that, kindly make a decision on uh, of looking for someone who can help you on that. And if you need a teacher or a coach that you want to help you in Swahili, of course I am there. I can help you with that. You can click the link that is down below, okay, that is showing the Swahili lessons that I give, the Swahili coaching that I give. I can give, you can do a Swahili lesson and then I coach on the specific things that you need to know in Swahili. Because, for example, me, when I started learning Tagalog, Mfano, for example, I didn't know where to start. That is a very, um, a very, that is something that almost every beginner has. When you are starting, you, you have a lot of work, a lot of things, and you have a lot of information, especially in, on the internet. You don't know, should I start with kuwa? Should I start with days of the week? Should I start with numbers? Should I start with verbs or vocabulary? Or maybe I should start by reading. What about listening? Like, what should I start with? Like, these ideas pop in your head and you don't know where to start with, which maybe can lead to you never starting. If you have never started, you just watch YouTube videos. You've never started. I'm here to help you. Click the link down below and I am going to help you. Or you can send an email at lanswahilwithconi at gmail.com and we are going to chat from there. I hope this thing that I have said, this statement, this paragraph that I have said in those few minutes has helped you. Now, let's continue. We go to number eight. Nahitaji kuondoka. This one is formal. Nahitaji kuondoka. I need to go. You are, you are in a meeting or someone was teaching you, you are with someone and it's formal and you wanted to leave, you tell them, Samahani nahitaji kuondoka. By the way, the word Samahani, I have been telling my students, if you do something and you find that it's, um, it was not the way that it was supposed to be, maybe in Gaeli, in Swahili, or you just said uh, there are different terms that you are supposed to say in Swahili, just tell the other person, Samahani, then say the correct thing. Samahani, the correct thing. Samahani actually means sorry or excuse me. Okay? Samahani, then you say the correct thing. Because instead of saying, uh, or instead of beating up yourself, oh, I made the wrong one, forgive me for this, I made the wrong one. Don't say that, just say Samahani. Then you continue. It's a very, very, very good way. And then there is this one. Instead of saying nataka kuondoka, that can sound rude. Modal verbs, kutaka. 
by the way if you have not checked the video on model verbs in swahili go check this link that is up here it is going to help you on that swahili model verbs we have kutaka matakwa i have explained the difference between kutaka and matakwa in that video if you want to know more about it so saying nataka kuondoka can sound a bit rude because it means i want to leave it's like a child who is throwing a tantrum or something nataka kuondoka i want to leave but of course you can say that to your friend uh, you are with your friend at home and then you tell them nataka kuondoka nataka kuondoka i want to go of course they are going to understand or i want to leave or you can use nitaondoka sasa nitaondoka sasa or naondoka sasa i'll be leaving now i'll be leaving now that's quite polite especially if you are talking with someone who is elderly and you tell them nitaondoka sasa nitaondoka sasa kwa heri okay it's very very nice then there is the other one we will talk later tutaongea baadaye tutaongea baadaye tutaongea baadaye and then we have um let's talk later tuongee baadaye let's talk later tuongee baadaye halafu tuna kuwa na siku njema kuwa na siku njema that one can also show that you are saying goodbye kuwa na siku njema okay kuwa na siku njema tutaongea baadaye one of the good thing that i like about these um uh, alternatives of saying goodbye is that you can mix them like you can use this add another one another one for example of kuwa na siku njema tutaongea baadaye kwa heri you can say those three things but that's when you have advanced a bit but when you are still there just say kuwa na siku njema and you just show your hand kuwa na siku njema okay and then we have um imekuwa vizuri kukutana nawe it's been nice meeting you imekuwa vizuri kukutana na wewe or kukutana nawe or you can say imekuwa vizuri kuongea nawe it's it's been nice talking to you or it has been nice talking to you imekuwa vizuri kuongea na wewe and then you have this common one tuwasiliane tuwasiliane let's keep in touch tuwasiliane or the most formal one you can say tuwe mawasilianoni with a greeting tuwe mawasilianoni let's keep in touch tuwe mawasilianoni but when it's casual you can say tuwasiliane tuwasiliane let's keep each other in touch or let's be in communication tuwasiliane and then you can also say kwaheri ya kuonana kwaheri ya kuonana which still means bye goodbye kwaheri ya kuonana this one can also be used as a reply when someone tells you kwaheri you can tell them kwaheri ya kuonana kwaheri ya kuonana okay and by the way when someone tells you kwaheri you can use these words that i have just told you as a reply this 12 plus way of saying goodbye when someone tells you kwaheri you can say baadaye or tuwe mawasilianoni or tutaongea baadaye tutaonana siku nyingine when someone tells you kwaheri you can use these things to reply okay yes and um that marks the end of our video for today and we are going to the hadithi when i say hadithi hadithi say hadithi njo hadithi 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 njo hadithi hadithi good hadithi njo hadithi yetu ya leo ni kuhusu twiga na kifaru twiga ni mnyama mrefu sana na kifaru ni mnyama kibonge au mnyama mnono kibonge ni sawa na mnono lakini kibonge hutumika sana sana kama unaongea kuhusu watu na kibonge hutumika sana sana sehemu za Mombasa nimesema twiga ni mnyama mrefu kifaru ni mnyama mnono twiga na kifaru walikuwa wanaishi msituni kitambo na najua bado wanaishi msituni mpaka sasa lakini kitambo walikuwa wanaishi msituni na kando na kuishi msituni walikuwa marafiki sana twiga alikuwa aki kifaru alikuwa akitaka kitu anamwambia twiga twiga nitolee kile kitu pale juu twiga anainua shingo lake anaenda na mtolea Ki, uh, twiga akitaka kitu ambacho kiko ndani ya maji anamwambia kifaru kifaru nitolee ile pale kifaru anaingia ndani ya maji anamtolea 
sasa so, walikuwa wanasaidiana tu kila wakati wanasaidiana tu kila wakati na hapo hivyo ndo maana tunajua ni vizuri sana kuwa na urafiki kwa sababu urafiki unamaanisha mnasaidiana kama una rafiki msaidie na pia yeye atakusaidia saidia nini kwa sababu kila mtu katika hii dunia anahitaji msaada asante sana kwa kutazama hii video Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you have learned something from this video. Remember to subscribe to be part of this vibrant and growing Swahili community. Let's help each other. Let let Swahili Kingdom community be your mentor. Let it be your pillar in Swahili to help you improve in Swahili, to pull you in Swahili to get to that level that you need to be. Also remember to share this video with other people and like this video as well we are going to see each other in the next video maybe the swahili version of this video okay kwaheri <laughs>